What is up guys, my name is Chase and today I'm going to be sharing what is on my Nook phone, aka my iPhone. So this isn't really going to be a tutorial on how to turn your iPhone into a Nook phone. I'll leave a link in the description to the tutorial video that I used. But in short, there is this lovely graphic designer who put together all these different packages of Animal Crossing icons and wallpapers and stuff. For the wallpaper, I used this little like island background, the dark theme. This is just kind of a personal preference thing. I'm not a big fan of like really bright backgrounds on my devices. I like things to be in like the sort of like darker side. But first things first, we have our calendar widget up at the top. It took me a really long time to get into widgets, but I finally just dove headfirst into it. It's a lot to kind of like wrap your head around. But the app that I use is a little app called Color Widgets. It's basically the best widget app that I could find that doesn't force you to pay a subscription. Um, so they have a bunch of different free widgets. Um, there are some like pro ones that you have to pay for, but I find that for the most part, their free ones look really, really nice. I basically chose a calendar widget and used the Animal Crossing assets as the background for it. So I put the little leaf on the like dark blue background. I added a white border so it kind of stands out more. So that's my little calendar widget at the top of the first page. Also on this first page, I tried to keep it to pretty much all of like the iOS apps. So we have calendar, weather, camera, photos, clock, maps, calculator. Um, this is my little utilities folder which has Google Chrome in it. Um, it has the Apple Watch app, the Measure app. Um, translate, Fios, um, and Shortcuts. Actually, Shortcuts is what I used to basically turn my iPhone into a Nook phone. This is my Smart Home folder, which has all of the different Smart Home apps that I use. We have the Health and Fitness folder. And then this is like my location, Find My stuff. But yeah, so as you can see, I have changed all of the icons for like the Apple apps into these cute little like Animal Crossing design ones. And if you go check out that tutorial video in the description, it'll show you step by step how but basically in my shortcuts here I have a bunch of different shortcuts which lead to all of the different apps. So basically all of these custom Animal Crossing icons here are just shortcuts running and so the reason I still have the stock icons on camera and clock is because for clock I like that the hook second hand moves in real time. I actually use that a lot during the day I find so wanted to keep the default icon just so I can see the second hand move. For camera I found that using a shortcut for camera for whatever reason caused this like weird delay whenever I opened up the app. So I just changed it to the stock one and it opens up very seamlessly. Oh yeah, and then also on the dock here at the bottom, we have my phone, messages, mail, and this is my iPod folder, which is just music and podcasts. The reason I have the stock icon for messages is because whenever you use this custom icon shortcuts method, since this is just a shortcut, it doesn't show the actual notification badge on the apps. I can't use a shortcut for messages or mail so that I can see the little notification badge for the rare times I actually get text messages. But yeah, so that's the first screen. On to my next screen, which is basically just like the fun screen. This is basically every everything else on my phone. I basically wanted to have a medium widget on every single page of my phone. So this is the Twitch widget. It shows the top four channels that are live right now that I'm following. And so this is my social media folder. These are all of the social medias I use. And these are the awkward ones. This is my entertainment folder, which has Twitch, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, all the streaming stuff. This is my like creativity folder, I guess. We have voice memos and all of like the third party camera apps that I have. Airbrush is a nice one for all those beauty filters cause you know, I'm not comfortable with my own skin. Ooh, Imaging Edge app works really well for Sony cameras if you wanna transfer files from your Sony camera to your iPhone. This is my music folder, which just has like, I don't know, random music apps that I use. I actually use this metronome app religiously. It's really nice because you can like tap and then it'll show you the actual tempo that you're tapping at. Um, this is my YouTube folder, which is, you know, because for whatever reason, YouTube splits up their apps into so many different apps. We have the YouTube app, the YouTube studio app, and this is TubeBuddy, which is like my third party YouTube extension of choice. Next up, we have the shopping folder, which is a very dangerous folder to be in. You know, iTunes store, app store, um, all of the different stores that I shop at, very dangerous, as I said. Speaking of dangerous folders, 
This is my food folder, which is very dangerous. These are all the different food establishments that I usually like to do mobile ordering at. Shout out to McDonald's. McDonald's has a gosh dang darn good app. Terrible for your health, but great app. <laughs> this is like my reading folder, which barely gets used, not gonna lie. <laughs> No, I'm just joking. So we have the Apple Books app and News, which I gotta say, Apple News app is actually very, very nice for what it is. Like it, it curates news very, very well. So I like that. And so moving on to our third page, this is actually my work page. Fun fact, I do actually have a job. So <laughs> this is all of my work stuff. This is the stuff I use for work. And then the last page that I have is my games page. And I put it last just because I rarely play games on my phone. I honestly like just having it there just in case I do run into a situation where I want to play some mobile games. But yeah, we have all of like the staple uh, mobile gaming apps like the Nintendo Switch Online app. We have the remote playing, which is like Stadia and PlayStation Remote Play. Here's the folder with all of the Nintendo games. Oh, I still have Dr. Mario World, which I believe is no longer even on the App Store, so gotta sell this iPhone for like $10 million. Pikmin Bloom. Played that once. Honestly, haven't played it much since, I'm sorry. I wouldn't be surprised if people don't know about Pikmin Bloom, but it is basically a Pokemon Go clone, but now with Pikmin. But I mean, besides that, that is pretty much everything that is on my Nook phone, aka my iPhone. I honestly love to keep my iPhone very simple. Like, this is the first time I've had more than two pages on my iPhone in, like, years. I usually love to just keep everything on one screen on my iPhone. But anyway, that is officially everything that is on my Nook phone. Once again, I will leave a link in the description to a tutorial video if you would like to also transform your iPhone into a Nook phone. But feel free to let me know in the comments what kind of apps you guys are using on your iPhones nowadays. If you want to see more of my Animal Crossing videos, feel free to check them out below. For now, thank you for watching. My name is Chase and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.